All right, uh, what do we have here? Uh, first, subscribe to the channel and share the video, right? <coughs> this is 2011 RAV4 2.5 liter engine. Here is the history, and this is really important. Uh, three years ago, today is October 18th, 2024. So four years ago or three years ago, I did, the car had 170,000 miles on it. And I did, the car right now has a 200,000. So I did, <clears throat> maybe it was 160 or 150, but in that range. Uh, so three years ago, I did a flush. The reason was the, the fluid was a little bit dark in the, when I used the stick, like wipe the stick in a, napkins and it was dark <clears throat> so I did a flush not a, just a drain and refill and car was doing really well all right till July of this year 2024 I was traveling far from home around one uh, 700 miles away and the car all of the sudden not shifting at all like doesn't shift to any gear not in the first gear second gear third fourth uh, reverse nothing it's always exactly like uh, you have the car in neutral doesn't shift doesn't move then what i did i i uh, towed the car to my house but anyway i did drain and refill i changed the strainer I but I dropped the valve body thinking there was something wrong with it in the passages everything got, I got everything clean I have a video that is like 25 minutes video then everything was good then I started the car was working for just one month and a half maybe two months less than two months then it did it again not shifting at all so today, I'm not going to just drain and refill. I'm going to do a flush. Because back in July, when I did the, the drain or refill, it was so dirty with lots of uh, fine powders in the, in, the, in the shift. So today, we're going to do drain uh, uh, and flush. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do first... Here is my, my strategy. Let me get out of the car. So first, I'm gonna drain, drain the fluid. Then I will use, disconnect the return hose, drain the fluid, maybe drop the pan, get the filter cleaned without replacing. Okay, hold on. Get the filter clean without replacing. Uh, clean the pan and everything then I start to do my flush disconnect the return hose then after this we're gonna after I completely finish the flush I'm gonna drop the pan again clean it and change replace the strainer then everything now should be really clean let's go all right <coughs> I removed the cover. I don't want to waste your time. Just how the cover removed the plastic, the mud guards. This is the transmission. Here is. I'm going to remove this, drop it. And here is the return hose. This one here. Okay. So this is the location of the. Then you go like this. Then you have. You have the return. This is the return hose that I'm going to disconnect during the washout. To disconnect, disconnect the. The bolt, the drain bolt of the transmission, you need this. Number 10. Okay, so this number 10. Then we, I like to get something clear here, like a please clear plastic. Then we're gonna drop this. Gonna be full of solids. We'll see. All right, I'm not gonna. All right, so it's draining now. Draining now. 
this is the color i'm gonna measure this then i'm gonna put the same amount i'm gonna put the plug back because i really don't care to drain everything eventually i'm gonna drop the the pan but for now so i can get the flush started I disconnected the hose, the return hose to the pan. This one, here, here, okay. So hopefully this, this, this one it goes here. This is the return hose. Nothing will drain unless you start up the car. All right, guys, I have to extend this hose. So I use the hose clamp itself to get this hose inside and secure it, okay? Just like a cheap truck. Now I have this here, right, the, the setup for the flush. So I drained the fluid, the transmission fluid, and it has a strainer. You can see some debris from like the leaves and this, but the vast majority is, is powder, fine powder. I use this funnel to drain it into an empty, uh, gallon uh, plastic gallon jug so this is how much you drained it's about less than actually less less than two quarts which should not be correct should be more than that it says 3.7 so i either burn or uh, or when i filled it was not accurate so this is less than two quarts so what i'm gonna do now I'm gonna put the same amount or a little, I'm gonna put three quarts. And today I'm using the Max Life, Valvoline Max Life to the drain, flush, and refill. I filled, I dropped three, three quarts. This is almost two. So I, this is four, this is five quarts. But this is four. It's US gallon, so it's four quarts. So I dropped two out of, so I need to put more. So here is what I did. Here is what I did. I put four quarts in. Then I'm gonna start the car. Then once I put four, remember I drained the two and I put four. So I have two more extra, but I wanna stop the car when I reach two because I don't wanna run the pump dry. So I filled with water here. That's This is what a two quarts will look like. Then I mark here. And once I reach that, means I drained two quarts of bad fluid. Then I stopped the car. Then I put two more and so on. So I put a tape here. So my helper can see where he needs to tell me stop. Means I drained two, two quarts. خلاص بدأ العدادة الغي بقى وقف Stop, stop. Look how dirty is this. This is from inside the, look. So I drained, so the trick did work. So I drained now two. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two more. Drain them, put two more and so on. I'm gonna take, remove this, put it back in the container. So this is the second round, okay? I put the same amount, then I'm gonna do it again.
stuff just as a color color comparison this is the brand new and this is the first one the most dirty one and that's the second run you can see here in the center some particles the color is not very distinctive distinguished but there is a change make sure every time you fill you put this because it has an o-ring so it will not suck air that's the third run Stop. Right, I rearranged them, but that's the worst one. That's the second, third, and that's the fresh. I think you can, guys can see that this is, is getting lighter from here to here to this one compared to this. I'm gonna do it number four. That's the fourth run. Stop. So this is the fourth run. You guys can see the change. I think I would do it one more time and we should be good. This is the fourth, number four. That's the fourth run and hopefully the last one. The noise is changing if you guys can, can hear that. It's a splashing. That's the last one. Look how it got a lot better. This is like almost like a fresh. I'm done. Tomorrow I'm gonna drop the, it's getting dark. So tomorrow I'll drop the pan, change the filter and replace the gasket. Thank you guys for watching. 
subscribe and share the video this is really informative video thank you so i dropped the pen it's not really dirty as i thought still of course this but but you guys remember i did lots of plush while the pen in place so this is me no, no. still have some like fam, fine powder here i'm gonna get this this clean really well but again this was we are in october and the car only ran for two months so this is from two months watch the entire video this is just a short but the entire video will be uploaded to the channel this what came this what was sitting in the pan this what was held by upstream of the strainer so it's not as clean as what's inside the transmission after the flush i completed the flush yesterday i removed the gasket i'm gonna clean everything also gonna replace the filter this is the difference between the the oem this from Toyota part that i just removed and that's the from arizona eh, auto parts advance this one this is the one i got came with the the o-ring if you look here so this is the clean side nothing comes out here because that's the pump suction now this look here look look how much particles i think what what i did wrong last time was that I did not have enough liquid so it caused lots of burning look this is guys this is just in two months this is in just two months only look now what the difference I think the we'll see now if they fit perfectly or not but what i see it's just the different type of felt that's this is like certain felt inside and this one has a different one the material here is different felt the board has reinforcement like this So anyway, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this new one here and we'll see, but that's the difference. The difference is this one has enforcement to the felt, this and a thinner screen, very thin screen. This one is a thicker, almost like glued. I can feel it glued in. This one using metal, uh, metal reinforcement because it's thinner felt right let's do it this is how the this is how the the auto parts the advanced auto parts filter looks like after being installed in place just for the record i want to show you something really cool i really liked you see here the hole is big here right but the hole here is small. So what you do here, put it. So this will allow you to, to, to install all the bolts in place. And the gasket will hold them. 
rather one than working over your head. So anyway, I clean everything clean, use a brick cleaner, magnets in the right place. I'm gonna continue adding all the bolts. Then after this, I'm gonna also use the thread locker, Primatex blue thread locker and all the bolts. So all the threads got the thread locker. Of course, all you need just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Right, we're good to go now. Right, so I finished this part. Put the, the pan. I'm gonna pour, I have here two, Max Life, Valvoline Max Life, two quarts, and I have two quarts of Toyota. So I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna pour three and a half quarts, then I measure cold, 